I uh, grew up with my parents arguing quite a lot because it's no good poverty in childhood or any time. My parents were always arguing about money because they didn't have any. And um, it, was, it, was, it was horrible. There's no question about that. It makes you feel very unsafe. But I knew they loved me and we were a very close Catholic, the family, so that's the paradox. But to be honest, the worst thing was then after the arguing, they wouldn't talk to each other. The longest they ever didn't talk to each other was 18 months, all of us living in the same house. 18 months? 18 months, all of us living in the same house. She'd be sitting watching on the couch, watching telly, and your dad would go, tell your mother I want a cigarette. And, <laughs> and then Mum would go, I'd say, Mum, can your dad have a cigarette, please? And she'd go, yeah. She'd throw it over at him. And then you'd be thinking, I used to dream about them talking again. And I used to try and have to create ways where they'd speak to each other again. And it sometimes reached the point when you'd rather they had a little bit of a passionate moment, like a row, than the lack, complete lack of communication. And I think I inherited that uh, when I first met Trevor, who was very open emotionally. My reaction to any, any kind of extreme expression of emotion was to retreat, because that's what I'd grown up with. And um, he wouldn't allow that. And you know that expression, never go to bed on an argument? I'd never heard that expression in my life. I, virtually every night I went to bed on an argument somewhere. I'm not saying it was violent, but it was mm. just like that, you know? And it, the whole street was like that, really, as well as fighting with each other. <laughs> and um, and, uh, and I'd, I'd, I'd try to say, never go to No, you're not going to sleep. And I'd go, I am. Watch me go to sleep on this argument. I'm going to sleep. He'd lift me out of the bed and he'd say, talk to me, sort this out. That was a whole new language I had to learn. And did you enjoy learning that new language? Was it good oh, for you I'm to so have someone grateful. to say, no, you are going to talk about My this. children, our family, are so open. No matter how extreme it gets, no matter how bad it gets, there's, a, there's almost, a, we almost say it, we almost say, you know we talk things through. Mm. We sort this out. We sort this out between us. You're not leaving. And they say it to us sometimes. Come on, Mum, you're the one that's told us. Come on, Dad, you're the one that's told us. No, it's... Um, I, and do I you and Trevor argue? Do you have good old Barneys? I've been married to him for 35 years. <laughs> <laughs> we sometimes used to say to the kids, no, it was only acting. You could hear when you were in the bedroom when we were downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> we were just acting apart. It depends what you define as arguing. I mean, we do argue. Well, we sort of bicker and snap. Because for me, it's very important, I think, for children to see that if you fall out... A, I want my daughter to see me standing up for myself. Yes. Mm -hmm. And B, if they see conflict and then resolution, I think that's life. Mm. It's life in the workplace when you fall out with work colleagues. It's life when you have marriages of your own. Um, not full-on sh shouting or violence or anything like that. No, <coughs> I don't think that that's a good idea. But... General arguing and, and bickering, yeah, I think, I think that absolutely, and we do argue in front of our kids, um, but we don't sulk. That's the thing That's I couldn't bear. Thing. Neither of us no, are yeah, sulkers. You don't like arguing, though, really, I do you? I absolutely hate it, and um, I shy away from it. And when I met Ray, Ray's one of them that if, he's, if he has got a problem, he will argue. Um, and he used to hate the fact that if he raised his voice, I'd flinch. And he used to go, I hate when you do that, because he felt like I thought he was going to hit me or something, which he never would. Well, he wouldn't get up from if he did. <laughs> <laughs> but I absolutely hate it, and because my, my parents had, not all the time, and normally if my dad had had a drink, and I always remember as a kid, because my mum would stand up to him, and I always remember as a kid thinking, Mum, just don't say anything, just ignore him, just... Because I knew it would just get worse. Because I just think when two people are shouting, Neither are listening, so nothing's getting resolved anyway. And from a but kid, do you still it's really, it? really, you, really, really scary. If you back down from a, an argument with Ray, do you then... No, how I, don't, does it get I, don't, resolved? I don't back down. No. What I'll say to him is, if he's really angry, I'll let him have his moment and then I'll say, I'll talk to you when you've calmed down. When we can talk mm. about it like two adults and not scream at each other. And Because I remember that feeling as a kid, yeah, I absolutely horrible. hated it. And there was times... You know, if it was a bad row, it wasn't like... I'm making it sound like it was every day. It wasn't every day, but even the odd time it was, if it was a bad row, I remember going to bed thinking, oh, I wish they'd just split up, because yeah. I just couldn't... I hated it, mm. and I still hate people shouting at yeah. each other. But what mm. about in your... What about low level? Because that's, as I'm saying, about shouting mm. and screaming and, and you know, <laughs> big rows. But what about... Do you not do sort of low-level arguing? So if, <laughs> if Ray's... <laughs> bit, sort of a bit of a... Well, you would say that, wouldn't you? And then bash about a bit and then whatever. I mean... Do you not do that sort of snappy arguing? No, because I have, I have humongous 
awful rows with him in my head. I mean, I call him everything under the sun in my Why head. Why can't you let and it so out? While he's sitting there, I'm kind of giggling <coughs> to myself, going, you've no idea what I've just called you in my head <laughs> and how much I hate you right now. But why don't you say it out loud? I just, I don't know, because, A, I think, I think sometimes in a row, if you're really angry, you can say things that can you really hurt mm. somebody and, yeah. and you can't ever really <laughs> take them back because that's, you know, that stays in somebody, yeah. I Are think, once you've said it. <laughs> if. Well, actually, bicker. You see, I always say, when people say, well, you and Amy was arguing, but if you watch us together, we bicker. And, mm. and actually, my thing is, I don't, just because I'm married to you doesn't mean I agree with everything you say. No. Oh, so it's absolutely. not an argument, I'm just disagreeing with what you say. So we'd bicker. And the thing I always say, I would be mortified if Jack said, Oh, I hated him. My mum and dad argued all the time. I, I believe he wouldn't because what he, he sees more love than he sees arguing. Yeah. So he sees lots of laughter, lots of us hugging. In fact, yeah. if he walks in, we're having a hug, he goes, oh, get a room, you two. <laughs> you know, so I, I think, unlike you, I don't want to, him to think that he can say anything to a woman and she'll never argue back. So mm. I do argue back, don't I, darling, if you're watching. <laughs>